As you most likely have probably seen, Valorant's anti-cheat comes with a kernel driver. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a program that can be run at the highest level and can see everything that is happening in your PC. Valorant devs have said multiple times that it will only be able to scan your PC while you're running Valorant. But as you can see here, if I open up CMD and type in SC query VGK, it will show that, well, first of all, it will show that it is a kernel driver. Second of all, it is running and it will run um, anytime you launch your PC. This is a major security vulnerability that can potentially be exploited by hackers. Another concern is that Tencent, a company that has ties with the CCP and own Riot Games, might be able to use this kernel driver in a malicious way. Today, I'll be sharing a way to toggle the VGK driver on and off. In the description below, you'll find a mega link um, that will take you to my VGK toggle uh, folder, zip folder, and you can download this. So now we have the VGK toggle folder and we can extract this with 7-zip or any other file uh, extractor program. Uh, the password should be plaz777. Okay, so now that we're in the VGK toggle folder, uh, you're going to see four files, a uh, readme and, and then three other batch scripts. Here are the two start and stop uh, batch files. So those will be used to start, start and stop the VGK driver. There's also another batch file just to check the VGK status. And if we run, if we run that right now, um, it will obviously say that it's running kernel driver stoppable. What I just showed. So right now, since I checked the status, it's running. So I'm going to use the stop VGK, uh, stop VGK batch file. Right, double click it. Everything should be perfect. It should pop up like a CMD and then go away. And everything should be good. Um, and then you want to restart. You you can't disable a driver without um, restarting. Okay, so I'm going to restart and I'll show you uh, if it works. Okay, so we just restarted. Um, we can go ahead and check the VGK status. Uh, as you can see, it stopped. So that's good. It worked. So now we can just go ahead and check out the code if we want. Um, I'm going to go to the stop, the stop script. Um, so this piece of code right here, this basically lets my batch script um, run in administrator mode because you can't run these commands. You can't stop a, a driver, a kernel driver without having administrator mode. So this portion of code right here basically will set the start type to disabled and then stop the service. So yeah, that's the code. Um, you can check out the start, um, the start script. Same, same thing to get administrator mode, and the start type will be on system so that it starts with the system, and then we'll start the service. It is also very important to start VGK before you start um, playing Valorant. I'm not sure if it will ban you. Um, it might just not work, um, but it's always safe to just start it before you start playing Valorant. And also, um, I've heard from people that stopping the VGK service will reduce input lag in other games. Um, so, like, if you don't want to play Valorant, you can just stop the service and then play another game, and you'll have reduced input lag in that. I'm not, I don't have tests saying um, that the input lag is reduced, but I've heard just from people saying that it feels reduced. So just take that into consideration. So that's it. Uh, those are my VGK toggle strips. You can download them in the description below. Should be a mega link. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or any problems and I'll be able to answer them. Um, but that's about it. Please like and subscribe um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.